I'm going to show you how to make a stone beam trace. It's very, very simple. Um, what we require, a very light sinker, half ounce. You can go up to one ounce if there's a big surge. A very small hook, preferably something that's got barbs on it, like a 92247 mustard hook. Light nylon, I prefer Maxima because I'm fishing in amongst the rocks. I've got my trusty scissors here. Stone bream are a, is a species that you'll find all year round from Mozambique all the way down to the Cape. It does grow quite big, up to two and a half kilos. The average size of it is between a hundred to say a kilo in size, depending where you go. There's certain areas that bronze beam do prefer. They do prefer long flat ledges with a lot of uh, grass on it or vegetation. They like rocky areas like the Trans Sky. My favorite spot for catching them is at Mapalan. Um, they're very specific in their feeding habits. They like a low tide incoming. And that's to do with the way that they feed. They feed on um, grass, so they are a herbivore, and later as they grow bigger, they will eat fleshy baits, sardine, prawn, stuff like that. Um, the trace is very simple. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Basically take a meter of nylon and just double it. So to do it, what we do is we do a simple granny knot. So basically over your finger, through, and that's your granny knot. I'm just going to do a double granny knot, so I'm just going to go back through again, just to strengthen the knot. Lubricant, pull tight. Now what I do is I measure about 30 centimeters, that length, make a loop. There's your first granny knot. There's the second granny knot and slowly pull it tight. Lubricate, pull tight. Again, a little bit further away, about a centimeter to half a centimeter away. I'm gonna make another granny knot. First time through, second time through. And what I do is I just maneuver it to get the length that I want it to be. And that's about a centimeter. Lubricate, pull tight. My swivel would be on the top here, so I'm just going to cut it over there. So basically that's what's happening. I now cut the first one off, it was at the bottom. Over there, and I cut it off over there. So basically that's what it's looking like. I'm just going to put my sink on so I can show you. There's my sinker. And the reason we do it is that that knot basically comes off at an angle here. So when you're actually fishing, it keeps it away. If I tied it another way, this line would actually sit right next to it. You understand? So if we do it this way, it stays away. Measure off, cut it, take our first little hook, you can add a little float to it um, if you want just to give it a little bit more buoyancy, but stone bream like to feed in turbulent white water where there's a lot of movement so it's not necessary to have that kind of uh, movement. Let me do that. that. So basically that is what the trace looks like at the end of the day. To put the prawn on, very simple. What we do is we just thread it through the hook, starting at the bottom, and we just move them all the way down. Just before the belly, that part there, I like to come out, pull it up, 
and then we go in under the head over there and back out and that's basically how the trace or the bait looks when I've finished if you go through the stomach part over here all that smell in that comes out and it's a very soft area very fragile area in the prawn what it does is it actually forms like a boomerang so it's sitting in the water doing this and you don't want that so that at the end of the day I'd attach a small little power swivel over there and that would be my stone beam trace of course I could just carry on and make it two or three long depending on what you want but that is your standard length stone beam trace with your cracker. Mm -hmm.